So good afternoon. We are here from uh, uh, Shaky Spasita and we are from the program of Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Major in Marketing Management. My name is Robert Riolo together with Ms. I'm Glorissa Ocampo. And uh, we are here to conduct a, an interview with, uh, ma'am, would you like to inter uh, introduce yourself to us? I'm Rachel Adrito, uh, currently the Scholar Manager of Shaky's Pasita. Located at Laguna. I've been in uh, RM for five years in Shakey's. Yeah. Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, first, ma'am, question natin dito is, when you hear good governance, what comes into your mind? Uh, when you say governance, it's a process, how you deal with the group, and governance with also the decision making, and uh, how you implement your decision with your citizen, or your group, or employee. Yes, thank you, ma'am. Now for the second question, how would you relate good governance to your role as the manager? Okay, as a manager, we need to implement uh, policy. So when it comes to policy, a proper implementation and execution, uh, it's related to good governance. So when you say governance, is how you deal with the group and how you lead the group in a, in a process where you can achieve your direction or when you, you can achieve your goal in your governance or your in your company. Yes, thank you so much, Paul. Now for the third question, do you think that the company's core values reflects the good governance? Yeah, because a company needs core values. Kasi kung wala siyang core values, uh, the company will be, uh, didn't know how to achieve your goal. And uh, ano ba yung gusto mong uh, empleyado? No? When it comes to values, it's a personal values and company values, dapat magkapareho. So, para hindi sila maging misguided. Yes. Thank you, Paul. Now, ma'am, for the fourth question, how articulate is the purpose and vision statement and do you think that uh, your people are aligned in achieving it? Okay. For the purpose, no, uh, very important yan sa employee. Here in, uh, here in Shakey's, ito yung ano, kasi nasunod, no, we have great times and great memories always as our purpose. No? From that purpose, uh, mag-start yung day ng staff, no, na how will you achieve the day, within the day, how will you achieve your great times and great memories? So, yan yung purpose ng Shake is magkaroon ng great times and great memories uh, for the guests na to enjoy yung Shake is as well as yung mga staff to enjoy yung company. Okay? For the vision, yung vision, ito naman yung, uh, for example, Shake is wants to be number one. So, yan yung vision not only for the next three years, but within this year, even within the day, gusto namin maging number one to be prepared a uh, pizza restaurant. The so, um, for the fifth question, I meant, well, how would you arrive to a decision in terms of uh, solving problems in the store? So, more on uh, problem solving. Na uh, from problem solving, no, related yet with the business, lagging ano, uh, first, uh, check yung effect on ito for the operations. No? Kung operation need, di ba, kung maapekto ka yung guest, get, uh, guest convenience, the decision should be urgent. Kung maapektohan naman yung people line up, the decision must be urgent kasi without your people, you cannot go with your operations kung kulang yung people mo. When it comes to product, kasi convenience pa rin. Kasi kung kulang yung product mo, dapat magpo-complain yung guest. So everything, uh, decision is uh, uh, ano siya, reflection dun sa how operation will be managed. And also with your people, laging urgent yung dalawang yun, your people and your operations. Okay, thank you. Um, sixth question, ma'am. What are the elements needed in analyzing a problem? When you analyze a problem, syempre, uh, i-RCA mo siya, no? Uh, when you say RCA, uh, check mo siya, gano'n ba siya ka-priority? No? Uh, gano'n ba yung epekto niya? No? Una-una, dito siya shaky, so ang tinitingnan namin, no? First, guess convenience. Epektado ba yung guess inconvenience or guess impact? Prolong ba yung problem? Gano'n ba katagal magkakaroon yung problema? Or masasolve yung problema? group, ano pa yung magiging epekto niya pag naging malala yung problema. So, yun yung tatlong tinitingnan when it comes to uh, analyzing a problem. Yung guest convenience or guest impact o uh, group, di ba? Or urgency, gano'n pa siya dapat disisyonan. So, yun yung tatlong yun na inaaral palagi namin. Okay, uh, analyzing a problem, no? na-analyze mo, dapat masolve, hindi dapat panty. This is a solve na effective, yung prolong yung solve na problema, hindi siya yung band-aid solution. We avoid that band-aid solution. Dapat, uh, you analyze and evaluate yung problem. So, the higher learnings nga dun sa pag-analyze ng problem, yung uh, evaluation, no, na hindi na siya mahuulit. 
Uh, so long term cure dapat. Yan. Yes. Ma'am, uh, can you expound on RCA? What do you mean by RCA? Yung RCA, siya yung uh, ginagamit namin how to solve a problem. Yun nga yung may guest impact, uh, may urgency, at saka may ano, uh, grow. So yun yung RCA na word na ginagamit namin na uh, short term lang siya dun sa tatlo. Ah, okay po. Yung ba yung root cause analysis? Yes. Okay, thank you so much ma'am. Now lastly ma'am, ito medyo personal ng konti ah, but uh, what are the qualities of an effective leader? What do you think? Okay, uh, qualities of effective leader, no? kung ba niya ng personality and uh, uh, yung culture na nag-guide sa yun. If you have your good values, no? you have a good intention to, to, all, of, to all of your employee. No? Uh, iba yung boss sa leader. So, yung ka sa leader, you're happy na may group yung mga uh, empleyado mo. You're happy na nakaka-achieve sila ng magagandang bagay sa buhay nila. Di ba? Even to the study or even dito sa so work. As a leader, you'll always look forward for another leader. So, you give a uh, opportunity to others to be a leader or to be a manager. See, setting as an inspiration ni Kama nila. Oo. Oh. Yan, uh, anyways ma'am, maraming maraming salamat po. With that ma'am, we would like to offer you our token of appreciation ma'am for um, ayun nga po, for welcoming us uh, para mag-conduct yung interview na to. Once again, I'm Roberto Riolo and with... I'm Glarissa Ocampo. And thank you so much po ma'am. See you po soon. Yeah.